Here's something I don't make very often, but I love it when I do. Eggs Benedict. Now, this all started because I froze some egg yolks and I wanted to test it out. Remember, the egg yolks were a little bit stiff and you saw me make my hollandaise with it. Now, to make the Eggs Benedict. I chilled the hollandaise to really test it. And so now I'm going to take a little bit of warm water and I'm going to reconstitute it by putting it into the warm water and mixing it together and seeing if I can bring it back. Ah, that's really good. Okay, I'm going to taste it, make sure that it's the way I want it. Now, in my water that just has bubbles, one at a time, I'm going to add my eggs and I'm going to cook them slowly. As you can see, the water is not boiling. It just has the little tiny bubbles on the side. In the meantime, I had melted some butter and now I'm going to start my Canadian bacon and English muffins or in this case sourdough toast. Turn the toast, turn the bacon, and then I like to give my toast a little bit of chef salt seasoning. Now when that's done, take it off. Time to warm the plates because the eggs are going to be done soon. So turn your heat on, count to five. Flip those plates back over and count to five again. And then we're going to start putting it all together. Make sure your plates are warm. Put the toast down first. Canadian bacon. And then we're going to carefully, with a slotted spoon, take our eggs out of the water. And I like mine nice and jiggly. So there we have it. And as you can see, the yolks are still alive. And then the hollandaise on top. And you see how that came back real nice compared to how stiff it was in the beginning. Clean our plates off and simply add a little color to them. In this case, the little cutie oranges and some fresh parsley. And there you have it, Eggs Benedict at home. <laughs>